Hey guys, today I'm doing a one week one palette or seven looks in one palette. Um, this is the final look I done on me. And then at the end of the video, we're going to hand it over to Katina and she's going to tell you all my thoughts on how I felt throughout the palette and everything like that. And I am right now going to show you how I got this look and then bring you through all the looks I did all week and finishing off obviously with Katina. You probably see her in a thumbnail, so. Hope you enjoyed, and let's get into it. So I started off with this nice brown transition shade in the crease. Then I went into the black to create this big liner moment and really blend it out. I am re recreating one of the looks that Jade did for the promo for this palette because I just fell in love with that look. So just blending them together. Then I went into the yellow shimmer and put that all over my lid. Um, I didn't do a cut crease because I just blended it out in that way where I was already done. Then I went back in with the black. Not, I didn't add in more black, but I just blended it out with what was already left on the brush. Then I went to confetti, which is a silver. I put a little bit too much on this for my liking, but it, it, this really pops and shines. Then I went into the black, went on in the under eye and lined it out. Then went into that brown again and just blended it out to do the look. So this is the first look of the week. It was a nice olivey toned, just nothing major, just went in with the greens and the olive shade shimmer and the darker green shimmer. I really, really like this look. The, the second one was another recreation. It was the second recreation of Jade's looks that I did. Absolutely love this. Use the reds, um, a red shimmer and the, the light blue shimmer. All, all stunning, really, really well. And then this look is the third one. I actually wore this out. It was just a nice bronze halo eye moment. Then I recreated one of Soph Does Life's uh, looks that she did with this palette. So I went with the red first to the pink to the orange, then cut the crease, the same with the liner, and then went back in with the lilac purple and really, really enjoyed this look. Then this was like a blue green moment. It is not my best work, I will say that, but it was also, I think one or two o'clock in the morning when I did this, but they worked out really, really well. Um, really, really loved this formula. This is the look I did today, obviously. I'm obsessed with this look, would wear it every single day of my life if I possibly could. Just need to fix my hair. And hi, it's Katina here. So we're going to get into the actual reviewing of the palace, the J Third Wall, in case you've forgotten over all this. I think it's like three minutes into the video already. I'm trying to keep these really short because I don't think people want me being here for what, 20 minutes as I ramble on. So today's look, small but orange, you know, I was kind of feeling the orange vibe, but literally all the Outer orange was done with this palette. The eyes obviously done with this palette. The black lips and nose done with the palette. The eyebrows done with this palette. The only thing that wasn't done with the palette was the white. And it was just setting it with Make a Revolution white setting powder. Like that was it. That's going to start me on my first critique of this. I wish so much there was a white matte shade in here. Just because I love white matte shades. Because in drag like this, 9 times out of 10, my under eye is matte matte white so i use the p louise shade zero it's here right in front of me and i set that with a white matte base but i can get that from any other shade any other palette i mean <clears throat> i'm actually courses and everything here so i'm kind of dying i've used most not all most as you can see in all the, sh the shimmers i've used you can see kind of a indent in them they're reflecting um and they are I, I've I've not had one issue with any of the actual actual eyeshadows, like at all. All the eyeshadows have performed beautifully. I think the very first day I said I had fallout. That was the only day I had fallout. Like literally any other day. And I'd use all those colours. The only colour I didn't use was that dark green. And I know I didn't get a fallout from that green. I got it from the jaded one, which I used in the blue green one. So this is an absolute 10 out of 10. If you can get it, get it. I there's n I have no regrets in this at all. It is probably one of my favorite palettes of all times. Like l literally, um, like even if I wasn't a fan of Jade Torwald, which I am, so I might be slightly biased, but I've had literally zero issues. There's two things I would change about this whole palette. Number one, add in a matte white, and number one. Number two, add in a green matte like this color. Because I love this color, I do, but I just love, I love greens. Like, that's my favorite color, green. 
Um, but other than that, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I will be using this more. I do not know when because I have a stack of eyeshadow palettes that I want to do a one week one review. So everything else is going on hold for a bit. But A1, very happy this is my first one going up. I did say last week, or um, whenever I reviewed this first, I was going to put Madison Beer up first. But I just love this so much. I literally was like, I need to get this up by Friday. Madison will be with you next week. Um, it's funny because I've on Saturday I'll have two more videos of the one week one palettes done, completely ready to go. So I just gonna start off with this. What a banger! What an amazing, amazing, amazing palette it was. Um, so set the standards very, very high. Um, if you're wondering why I have like nude skin everywhere else and not orange, is because I was like, oh, I have an orange face paste palette. This is basically what I got and literally just smearing my finger in to get the perimeter of it. So, note to future self, if I'm going to paint, face paint myself a certain color, make sure I check. So yeah. Um, also, it's, two, it's currently exactly 22200 this current moment in time. So no thank you, I'm not painting my skin at this time because I still need to get this all off and go to bed. But thank you so much for watching. Really enjoyed doing this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to do it either way if you don't or don't do because I enjoyed it and I like doing stuff like this. Hence why I'm on my YouTube channel. So hopefully next time as well when I'm in drag, it'll be better. Like I love this, but I know I could do better. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you in the next one.